Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Poppin' Rockin' with South Georgia Phoenix. I'm your boy, the host with the most, the SGP himself. Got my little SGPs here too. Hi guys! And today we've got some of uh, our NYCC uh, pickups. They're, they're not the, the NYCC con exclusives, but it's the ones that I got from the, the various stores. Got one from Funko Shop. Got one from uh, GameStop and one from FYE. So you can probably guess, get a close guess as to which ones it may be. But stay tuned and you'll see what we got. All right, we're back. Uh, which one which one do you guys want to do first? You want to do the GameStop one because this is already in the bag? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that one. What, what, just, I don't even know what that is. You don't even know what it is? No. Huh. I already know. It is the Four. Dark Phoenix Pop and Tea Combo. Once again, a pop that will never see the light of day. Unless the pop is worth more than the pop and tea combo. Exactly. That's the only way it would come it out is, of its pop. And the box is limited edition, so yeah. that means there's no way that's coming out. Yep, yeah, it's a 2019 Fall Convention limited edition exclusive. Um, it is the orange glow. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it's a glow. Uh, I could be wrong, but it is the, the orange and green and, and light orange or yellow dark phoenix uh jean gray as the dark phoenix was in the in the original cartoon uh in the x-men animated series that was one of my favorite characters um, i loved the phoenix saga whenever it was going through that um even in the comic books i loved the phoenix saga uh the two movies that they've done x3 um the last stand that had uh, the phoenix in it um, and also Dark Phoenix the movie. Um, I, I enjoyed both of them. A lot of people didn't like them. I actually haven't seen Dark Phoenix all the way through yet. I've only seen about half of it. Alright, moving on to the next box. I think we're going to do, I think I'm going to save this one for last. So we're going to do the Funko Shop exclusive. I want to open that one. Coming in the big box. You want to open this one? Yeah, because... It should have a sorter in... I don't know. Actually, I don't even know if it'll have a sorter. It should have a sorter. But, I've actually never bought anything from the Funko shop before, and I'm trying to, you know, think back on other past videos of people that have done unboxings from Funko shop. I can't really... Wait, is this a mystery box? No, it's not a mystery box. Mm. So let me take a look it's inside. There's bubble wrap. There's a ton of bubble wrap. I will say that. And it is in a sorter. So we're going to take the bubble wrap. Box set. Take the sorter out. And Anakin. Go for it. Get over! Do you need help over there? We got the Marty McFly. I like that one. Very awesome. It's actually my first Back Fun to the Future pop. Funko. I like that one. Wait. So Funko. So Funko Pop Blitz. Which is. It's just uh, part of what they did with the Funko Shop exclusives. And uh, it's still the 2019 Fall Convention Limited Edition exclusive. Wait, so since That's it's a uh, Funko Pop Blitz, it's, it's worth more? It's going in um, I, I don't know. I, I guess you know, that's just the, the way that they did it. Uh, Funko, Shop, Funko Shop has Funko Shop exclusives, and then they do they have the, they have the Pop Blitzes uh, sometimes. I don't know the whole story behind Pop Blitz, but there's a <laughs> sorter over there. Save for later, because we always save our sorters. Mm -hmm. But let's show them off one more time. Marty McFly. Like I said, he is my very first Back to the Future pop. I do plan on getting Marty McFly and Dr. Emmett Brown sometime in the future. But until then, we'll set him off to the side just like that. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then we have the final one. Kason gets to do it. Okay. Yep, we'll let Kason open this one up. 
Now this one will not have a sorter because the pop itself just about barely fits in here. But, alright. I didn't even see what it is and I was trying to peek. It's got this on the inside, an FYE special offer for Philo TV. Not interested in that. Be very careful. What is it? Another wine voucher from FYE. They're entertainment. Why are they sending out wine voucher stuff? Give me a pop voucher. Alright, we got Blunt Man and Chronic. Huh? I have been super excited about getting this pop. I want that. No, you can't have this one. I want that. No, this one goes in uh, my bedroom yes. with, other, with other pops that I've got in there. Wait, so they're from a uh, horror? Movie? No. This is from Jay and Silent Bob. I've got more than just horror in my bedroom. Oh yeah, that's right. You also got some music. Yep, yeah, I've got music and I've got some movies in there as well. But we got Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. Uh, well, not Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. This is the first time you get to see Jay and, uh, Blunt Man and Chronic in a movie was in Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. I'm, I didn't get to go see uh, the reboot in theaters this past week, but whenever it comes out on to, to download or you know digital or whatever, definitely plan on seeing it because I love Jay and Silent Bob. Uh, always been favorite characters of mine, uh, Jason Mewes and Kevin Smith. Always been really great actors. Uh, I'm really excited about uh, Clerks Three going to be happening soon. And from my understanding, Mall Rats 2 uh, is also going to be happening at, at some point in time in the future. So, really excited about that. But uh, that's all the, the pops we got for the NYCC. That's all the ones I really cared about getting. If I happen to get any other ones down the line, like uh, maybe Slim. Slim was one that I had thought about getting. Uh, the only other one that I'd really be after right now would be Stain. Um, I could have gotten him the day that I got... Uh, the Dark Phoenix, but I didn't pick him up because I wanted to try to save as much money as I possibly could. I'd already spent almost a hundred dollars on pops that day, anyways. But um, that's all we've got for you today, guys. Give it a big thumbs up if you like the video. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you and since you haven't subscribed and you're just, and you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you'll see when each of our faces come across your screens each and every week. Um, and drop a comment down below which uh, New York Comic Con pop doesn't have to be one of these three but any of the Comic Con pops in general which one was your favorite which one were you most excited about getting or which one were you hoping to get but wasn't able to get and hope to get in the future um, other than that I don't really have much else merchandise mm -hmm. merchandise 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 <laughs> it's very comfortable shirts you guys I really enjoy it I, I I wear it ever since I got it. I've worn it almost every day. Now, granted, I'm not for long, because I put it on, wear it for a little while, then put it up until I get enough clothes to do a laundry wash, and then it'll go into the laundry, and I wash it, and then you know the cycle will continue. But uh, other than that, I think that's gonna be it, guys. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time. Later, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.